Okay, this is the water heater video, and it's much like the furnace video since they share the same mechanical closet. But it's got its own character. One thing is shares with the HVAC indoor air handler furnace utility closet. One thing is is the makeup air, and I didn't mention this in the other video, so I apologize. But you know, once upon a time, that screen was the cat's meow. People wanted to do that, but um, but now you shouldn't have a screen because it gets clogged with insulation and stuff. This water heater was manufactured in 2013, so it's about 10 years old. I understand that some people feel and it looks nice. I understand that some people feel like as it been in service for 10 years that it might have been replaced sometime after 2013, but it was manufactured in 2013. It's 10 years to me. Okay, it's 50 gallons, and it's in the mechanical closet. Makeup air and the air supply just comes, is what can wick through the closet doors. Oh no, excuse me. We got a screen down there, and a screen's acceptable down here for our fresh air. So we do have fresh air. So that goes back to um, the indoor air handler, you know, so. Okay. so. Coming on along, our flue, okay, is sealed with tape. It's not cloth tape, but it's sealed with tape. And by doing that, it's supposed to be mechanically, you know, fixed. And of course, it's not. Then, the water supply lines and distribution lines. Okay, we have our dielectric unions there, but the flue cap doesn't fit right. And these, this piping is supposed to be insulated. And this is your temperature pressure relief valve. And it's supposed to be insulated. The drain line? No. Okay, but it's supposed to be insulated. And it comes down. And where does it go? It goes to the, we already talked about this, the HVAC evaporator coil drain line, they are co-mingled. They're not supposed to be co-mingled. This goes into the drain, okay? This is supposed to go to the exterior somewhere, which obviously it doesn't. It goes to that drain right down there. There's your safety pan drain. And since it's got a vent, as much as I'm in not in a very approving mood right now, but since it does have a vent, then this drain pipe is not supposed to, is not required to have a vent. But you've only got this one section right here. This one section is, and that's supposed to go to an obvious location, but only this is rated temperature wise, is rated for hot water. This Schedule C PVC, it's not rated for, when this water comes out, it's going to be 200 PSI, it's going to be 200 degrees. When it comes out here, and it's, it'll melt this PVC going to come apart before it can ever get to the drain. Before it can ever get to the drain down there. Alright. And it doesn't drain in an obvious location. If this thing's leaking, because think about it. This thing's supposed to leak. That's part of its normal operation. You hear it? Tick, 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 tick. It's leaking. This thing could be leaking. You'd never know. So it's be insulated. Coming along here. On our gas piping. There's our carrier use manual. On our gas piping, we got a nice little thumb valve right there instead of that one, so that valve's okay. We don't have a sediment trap, just like on the furnace. We don't have sediment trap drip tubes. That will call it calls the um, impurities in the gas come down here and get caught up in your flame and your burner and clog your jets. It's electronic ignition, so we're not going to be able to look at the pan real good. I wish it fit in the pan a little better. But we're kind of running out of things to talk about here. Let me just jump up here real quick. How about that? Bear with me. I don't usually get an opportunity. Usually it's just the attic video, which we're going to have. We're going to have an attic video. But, come up here for the time being. We're going to be water heater specific. Oh, and you got storage in the way. 
Really? Great. Really? Got a light up here? No? Then we're going to save that for later. But we will get back to it. I'm really kind of curious to see how they take care of both of these flues in the attic. And you would have seen that earlier in the videos. So what do we learn? Water supply lines are not insulated. Temperature pressure leak valve drain valve is not insulated. Temperature pressure relief valve drain line does not discharge into an obvious location. Temperature pressure relief valve drain line is commingled with the HVAC evaporator coil drain line. Uh, unit's 10 years old. We do not have a sediment trap for the gas. Uh, we got a screen and our flue's been sealed with tape.